In today's video, we're talking about Roth conversions and should you Roth convert while still working or should you wait until you retire? Which one is best? That's what we're talking about next. Hey, my name is Mel Stubbs. I'm a financial planner at Christie Capital Management, and we're helping federal employees plan for a more successful retirement. If you need individualized help, click right up here to talk to an advisor. So today we're talking about Roth conversions. So first, let me define what that is. Most people we talk to have a bunch of traditional money in their traditional TSP. You're going to pay taxes on that one day at whatever the going tax rate happens to be when you take a distribution. You can shift money to a Roth using IRAs and Roth IRAs, but you can't do it inside of the TSP. You can go ahead and pay the tax now, so forevermore the growth will be tax-free as long as you pull the money out after your 59 and a half or over, and if you've had the Roth IRA for five years. So the process of shifting money from traditional to Roth is called a Roth conversion. So when is the best time to do that? Would it be when you're still working, or would it be after retirement? So to answer that question, first let's look at your tax bracket. I'm going to make some general statements that will apply to most of you that are watching this. And for all the compliance officials out there, this may not apply to everyone, but it will apply to most. So make sure you seek out professional, either a financial planner or a tax professional to make sure this is right for your situation. Most of the time as a federal employee, when you're getting close to retirement, you're going to be in the upper 22% bracket or the lower 24% bracket. If you are single, and you're about to retire from the federal government, you'll probably be in the lower 24% bracket. If you are married and the federal employee is the only worker, you might be in the top of the 22% bracket. If you're married and your spouse also works, then you'll probably be in the bottom of the 24% bracket. So keep in mind that your situation may be different, but for the vast majority, this is in the ballpark of where you'll be as far as tax brackets go. So you'll need to decide at what rate you're comfortable with paying taxes. Most people we talk to are willing to shift money to Roth if they are in the 22% bracket. Some people are willing to shift money even up into the 24% bracket. This will really be the deciding factor as to whether you should shift money while working or in retirement. Keep in mind that the Trump tax cuts are set to sunset, so in 2026, the 22% bracket is going to be going back to the 25% bracket, and the 24% bracket will be going to the 28% bracket. Now, this is under the assumption that it's going to be going away. So now the wise prognosticators out there are saying that they think the Trump tax cuts will sunset. For them not to sunset, that would mean Congress and the Senate and the President have to come together and agree on something and pass a new bill. They're saying the likelihood of this happening is not too high, so therefore in 2026, the tax rates will likely go back up. So you have a couple of years to decide. Do you want to move money in the 22% bracket? Or do you even want to move money in the 24% bracket? That's really the question. If you decide that the 22% is the most you're willing to pay and you're working and you're in the 22% bracket already, you will have some room, but maybe not too much room to Roth convert. Now, once you retire, a lot of times you'll move from the top of the 22% bracket down to the bottom of the 22% bracket. So you might could do a little bit of shifting money and you could do more once you retire if you're on that 22% bracket and that's the most you're willing to pay. And if you decide that the 24% bracket is a good idea to shift money in because, hey, it's going to be 28% because of the tax cuts expire, and the 22% is going to be the 25% one day, then you can potentially Roth convert a good bit more while working and then be able to Roth convert a whole bunch once you retire. Roth conversions are something that you want to do. Let's just say that you have a million dollar traditional TSP balance. You're going to have to move a lot of money because your balance is so big. Trying to stick to the 22% bracket, if that means you can only move ten dollars or $15,000 a year, is not going to make a whole lot of headway on a really large TSP balance. The whole reason that you're trying to Roth convert is to get the traditional balance to be lower than it is now so that when you arrive at your RMD age, you're not forced to take super huge amounts out. It's all based on that balance. So you can look at your current balance and now you can figure out and how many years until you turn 75 to try to figure out how much do I need to keep moving every year, factoring in that it's going to be growing in the meantime. Depending on how aggressive or conservative you're invested, it will grow at different rates. But there should be some growth over time between now and age 75, which is going to be the new RMD age. So for some people, to make any headway, you're going to have to go to the 24% bracket. If you're willing to go to the 24% bracket, 
then you can go ahead and start raw converting while working. If you decide that you don't want to go into the 24% bracket and the 22 is as high as you want to go, then the majority of it would not be done until retirement. So to answer the question, should you do it while working or should you wait till retirement will depend on your situation. First, figure out if you even want to Roth convert. Second, what tax rate are you willing to pay? And then figure out, can I Roth convert while working and pay the desired rate that I want? If you can do it while working, then go ahead and do some. If you can't, then you may have to wait until retirement to be able to Roth convert at a tax rate that you're happy with. If all of this, you know, Roth sounds great, but you're worried that it's too late for you, then check out this video right here. Is it too late to start Roth TSP? I think Roth is an underutilized planning tool for people's retirement. So check out this video right here. If you want to get individualized help, go to christycapital.com, click on talk to an advisor. My name is Mel Stubbs. Happy tax planning.